um, I went through the phase of wanting to teach myself how to paint on a higher level. Um, so what I actually decided to do was teach myself how to paint in a grand manner, but do it in a fun way that made sense to me at the time and not care what people th thought about it in the context of the arts. So I painted a series of science fiction or sci-fi work. This painting took me six months to do, and the series took me two and a half years to do. I'm not going to get all, I'm not going to take all of them out. It's just too many paintings. But I had a very good time painting these, these works. And in the process of painting these works, I actually found it was, I, I found the criticism interesting. Um, I was heavily criticized as being ex <laughs> exceptionally ignorant. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. How so? <laughs> Just because you were painting this sort of thing? Well, no, you know, the there is this political agenda these days that if you're painting sci-fi, you're a racist, you know? Oh, really? I didn't even know about that. Why is that? Don't put that in. I won't. I won't put that in. Uh, it has to do with masculinity. Oh, okay. Yeah, look, I mean, seriously, if you look up the history of science fiction work, Joe, mm -hmm. you'll, you're going to see that there's this attack that you're going to be called racist. Mm. And I was just naive at like a could Like a Heinlein, Robert E. Heinlein, that sort of thing? Yeah. Kinda, okay. Yeah. So, meaning that you don't know really what you're doing. Mm. I mean, I did know what I was doing. I just decided not to do what everybody else was doing and paint my own fucking thing. That's what I really wanted to do. So, um, I mean, I did some really fun pictures. Let me try to pull them out. And I guess what's so important about this big painting is. Actually, I really want to pull the original one out, the break, the, the, uh, 